welcome back everyone. Today's layout is of my children, of course, and I decided to play off the red shirt that my son's wearing because you can it really stood out. So I matted my photos with some red cardstock. Then I went in and I matted it with some black cardstock and then with some navy blue cardstock that sort of had an embossed embossed circles on it. As you can see, my little box of magic scraps is there and I'm just pulling out any any scraps that I think might work with my photos. I was really pleased with myself because I did use quite a few bits and pieces from my scrap bin. Yay! Get excited about that. Now, I really did want to use this eclectic... Um, stripe patterned paper that I had here and I've been hoarding this for a while because I just love the I don't know there's something about it that I love and I don't want to use it but that's just silly because we buy these papers to use and then we hoard them what's the point of that no one sees them in our stash of paper so because this year is the year where I want to make a big dent in my stash of paper I thought no if you want to use it just cut it up and use it and I really really like it so this, I do cut out quite a few strips of paper from different um, papers and I then go and I ink all my strips of paper with the Rangers Distress Ink and the colour that I chose is faded, faded jeans and I just do this so that when I have all my strips of paper all cut out that there's a bit of uniformity between them all. Does that make sense? I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to stick my photo down and as I'm thinking about if that's where I want the photo of my little girl, I go and I cut out my second strip which is going to go horizontal. On this layout, every time I cut a strip of paper, I cut it out twice from the same pattern so that one strip goes horizontal and one strip goes vertically. Just going through my scraps of paper to see which one I'm going to use next. I really love this paper that I'm playing with here but a part of me doesn't want to use it because I don't really want to cut out two strips from it. So I go back to a different folder which has got all different tones of blue scraps in there and I play around with it, but I do go back to this one. I think, you know what? Just use it. You want to use it? Just use it. And I cut into it. I'm pretty sure all my strips are all one and a half inches wide. So I do cut into that, and I quite like the way it looks. So there I go, and I ink it. In the interest of keeping this video as short as as short as possible, I have edited most of the process of inking my strips out. So just adhering my second strip down and I'll move on right along. I'm just going to cut out my horizontal strip now and do exactly the same process all over again. These photos were taken at my mum's place and just of the kids playing with my mum's dogs. I really love how this layout came together in the end and I'm going to confess to you that the, I believe I lost my mojo for a while because I was putting a lot of stress on myself. I, I wasn't competing but I lost my self-confidence to, to a certain degree. I was comparing myself to all the other talented artists out there which is really wrong of me and I, for this layout I just took the pressure off me and I just went with the flow and I relaxed and I really love what I did. I love how these colours came together and yeah, um, it's a very basic layout but I'm in love with it. In my stash of papers, I found this beautiful paper. It's from Print Blocks and it's a Queensland company, Australian company. I had no idea I had it in my stash. So this paper is called Storm and I absolutely love the pattern on it. And it was the right shade of blue. How did I not know I had this in my stash? I 
everything in just that little bit more, I'm going to mat it exactly the same way as I matted the photos. I'm just trimming down my black paper and that black cardstock, I matted it onto the red. And I, as you can see, I only took a sliver of the black off and then I took double that amount off the blue and there it is all matted. And I quite like how that came together. The title of this layout is going to be I Love You to the Moon and Back. I'm just using my Stampendious embossing liquid there and I love this embossing powder. It's called Midnight Sparkle and it's from a Australian designer called Alison Ellis Design and .com.au but I will link that in the description below if anyone wants to get it. Of course, I'm just using my trusty heat gun to emboss it all. I just love the sparkle on this of this embossing powder. Look at that. I just love it. It looks so much better in real life too. I'm in love with this embossing powder. I've got a stash of brads from when brads were very, very popular. And I found these little love heart ones, which I thought I was going to use, but they don't make it to the layout. And then I found this little lovely metal label thing. So I thought, oh, yes, the perfect shade of red. So I'm just drilling my holes into the paper and using some two little black brad. And down it goes. And then I will be adhering a strip of matching paper and well, matching paper to what I've already cut out. And I'm just going to put the date with my uh, date stamp there. I'm going to be using some foam strips from Cortier Creations to mount my title. Gosh, can't even think today. And the reason is because of all the layers where, where I mounted my photos, the top part of the title was just needed a bit more support is what I'm trying to say. That's why I used the foam strips. I looked everywhere for some Love Heart puffy stickers in red. Do you think I could find them? No. I went and I made my own. On my silhouette machine, I just cut out a whole lot of little red love hearts and then I used the liquid pearls in ruby red from Rangers and yeah, I just stuck them on there, left them overnight and voila, I had some beautiful red puffy stickers that I made on my own. Actually, they're not stickers because I had to use glue, but anyway, you know what I mean. And here are some close-ups of my puffy stickers because I don't know what to call them because I use glue to stick them down anyway. But I really love the dimension. In real life, these look so much better. So I'm going to play around with placement and then I'm going to use some glue and stick them all down. It was after I stuck all my little homemade puffy stickers that I realised I didn't do my journaling. So I went to my computer and I printed out some strips of journaling and then just adhere it quickly down around my uh, love hearts that are already being glued down. That's what you see me do now. But anyway, it all works out in the end. I'm really happy with the end result. Here are some close-ups and thank you all so much. Take care and until my next video, I hope you're all well.